Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. T. Today, we're going to walk through taking your iReady or NWA assessment using Zoom. We'll show this today using a Chromebook that should have been given to you by your school. If you're using your own computer, though, the steps will be pretty much the exact same. We'll also be using the iReady test as the example. But for high school students taking NWA, the steps are pretty much the same, except you'll use NWA instead of going through Clever and iReady. All right, so let's begin. First, we'll go to wherever it is your teacher shares their links with you. So we'll open up Google, and whether that's in Google Class, your email, or Seesaw, you'll find the link that the teacher sent to you for your test, and you'll click it will automatically open up Zoom for you. We'll wanna we'll make sure make our mute is on and our video is also on. If Zoom does not open automatically for you and you are on your own computer, you'll get a prompt to download the application. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to do that for this to work. If you're having trouble, please contact your teacher for help. Once you're in the meeting, your teacher will go over all the instructions with you and what they want you to do for the day. Part of that will include logging into your Clever and iReady account. To do that, you can either click on the Google icon again in the background, or you see the window, Google window behind you, you can just click on that. If while you're in the meeting, you don't see the background or your icons below, it's probably because you are in full screen mode. So you're going to want to exit full screen and that'll allow you to see them both. Once you begin your test, it'll go full screen and you won't have to worry about the smaller window. So in the background, we'll go back to Chrome. We can find Clever, which should be an icon here. If you don't see the clever icon here, you'll see a little puzzle looking piece right here. You can click on that. That'll give you an extension and you'll see clever here. And if you want to make sure it's stuck up there, you'll click the little pin here, which adds and removes clever shortcut for you. So we click clever. And if you have a badge, you can click that login. It'll ask you to, it might ask you for permission for the camera. You'll click allow. And then you'll just hold your badge up to the window and it will let you in. If you don't have a QR badge, like I don't, you'll need to log in using an active directory. For the username and password, you're just going to use your student email and password, which would be your 700 number to at students with an S dot Pam Tramick schools dot org. And then you'll put in your password, which is your eight digit birthday. So if you were born on February 23rd, 2008, you would put 02 for February, 23 for the day, and then the year, 2008. And then click Sign In. Once you're in Clever, you can scroll down until you find iReady. For high school students, you would just go to the NWA test link that your teacher shared with you. Once you find iReady, you'll open it up. Once you get to this screen, you will choose whether you want reading or math. If you're taking the reading assessment, click reading. This is the button you will choose in order to start the assessment. We won't click this until your teacher has sent you into a breakout room and tells you it's okay to begin. When your teacher says they're sending you to the breakout room, it should automatically redirect you there. However, 
If it doesn't, you will get a pop-up box that says you're being invited to a breakout room with your breakout room number. All you have to do is click the join button. This may take a couple seconds, but then it will redirect you. Once you're here, you can unmute your microphone, and then you're going to need to share your screen. You'll do this by clicking the green share button, then choose desktop, and you'll see a picture of your computer screen. You'll need to click on that, and then you'll see the blue share button. You can click that. You'll know you've done it right because you'll see a green bar at the top of your screen. Next to that, it'll say a red button with stop share. Once you're here, you can click the diagnostic button and begin your assessment. While taking the assessment, you might have a question or need your teacher's help. In order to contact your teacher, you'll need to find the Zoom application link at the bottom of your screen and click on it. And if it asks you, just select the one that says Zoom. Once you're here, you'll see a little button that says Ask for Help. Simply click that. It will ask you to invite the teacher. So click the blue Invite Host. And you'll see a message that says your host has been invited. Once you see that, you can close the window. Your teacher might be with another student helping them. So it might take them a couple minutes to come in. So just wait here until your teacher comes in. Once your teacher joins you, you'll see them pop up in the box and you can tell them what your problem is. You can go back to sharing your screen and show them if you're having a technical issue and they can walk you through the process. Once they have you going again, your teacher will leave the room and you can continue your testing. Once your scheduled testing time is done, your teacher will call you back into the room. You'll see this because you'll have a pop-up box and it'll count down. This lets you know you have about 60 seconds left to join the meeting. If you're done with the test, you can just click the blue return to main session. If you're still trying to finish another question, you can close the window and when the timer runs out, it'll automatically bring you back to the test room. Once you're back in the test room, your teacher will go over any final instructions they have for you before you end the session. If you did not get a chance to finish your test, don't worry. You can just click back on the screen, close the window, and your teacher will give you a chance to make it up. It'll pick up on the exact same question you left off on. And that's all. If you have any further questions, please ask your teacher to run through it with you again. And that's all for today. Good luck.